Hi guys, this is Amar and welcome to Network Engineer Stuff. From this video, we are going to start with a new playlist named Mistakes Network Engineers Must Avoid. So this playlist will include multiple uh, chapters, videos, which will show what are the common mistakes network engineers do and how they can avoid those mistakes. And we are going to see this with some real world examples. So let's start with chapter number one. So chapter number one is reload in is an insurance policy. Now I am saying this that reload in is an insurance policy. We will explain in this in this video with help of this scenario. Now the scenario is it was a late Friday evening when Pallavi, a senior network engineer at ABC XYZ Solutions got a call from the operation manager. Well, the operation manager said, hey Pallavi, we need to push the new config to Pune branch one router before Monday. Can you make it happen tonight? Of course, she agreed knowing the Pune branch router was a remote and if something went wrong, they have no on-site IT staff until Monday. So this is a scenario uh, where we have some, some network. Uh, let's say it's a uh, bank network. Okay. And we have the, uh, let's say the uh, data center in uh, Mumbai. And this Mumbai data center is getting connected to some, uh, let's say some Pune's uh, zonal router, you can see. And this Pune zonal router is getting connected to few branches in Pune. Let's say this is branch 1, branch 2, branch 3, so a lot of branches in Pune. Again, this branches again, you know, uh, this branches is connected to some ATMs here also some ATM. Now in this scenario, uh, what is happening that is a Friday evening. Okay. So the, on Friday evening, of course, this manager is calling uh, this network engineer Pallavi. Now Pallavi is in Mumbai working remotely. And uh, her manager has called and uh, she has told her to push some configuration in this particular router, in this branch router. Okay. Now, this particular branch router, there is no support like uh, on site support currently on Friday evening. The on site support will be available on Monday. Now, what is happening is that Pallavi, let's say, she started doing some configuration on this particular branch router she did some configuration now whatever configuration she is going to do that configuration will be in the running config correct okay. and once once she saved this configuration using this write command it will be saved in the startup config correct now what happens that she was doing some configuration okay so the configuration will be in the running config now she did some misconfiguration and because of this misconfiguration she loses the connectivity to this particular branch router now what is going to happen now this is something real world scenario which happened to almost all the network engineers once in their career now she has lost the access well, what she can do the best thing what she can do is to wait till monday because since there is no support on-site support she have to wait till monday now someone on monday will come and it will perform this power reboot okay somebody will come on monday and then when he will do the power reboot the configuration will be loaded from the startup configuration and the uh, whatever changes were made were not in the startup configuration they were in the running configuration so the startup configuration will be loaded and she will regain the access of that 
branch router now what 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 she can do to avoid this now she can she can schedule the reload the best option whenever she is making the configuration before she starts making the configuration she can schedule a reload of that router now if she schedule a reload let's say uh, she schedule some reload uh, she'll tell the router let's say using this command reload in 10 so 10 is in minutes so she'll telling the router that to reload in 10 minutes so let's say she is doing some configuration and uh, she made some misconfiguration um, and she she loses the access no problem after some time after some 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 minutes since she have scheduled a reload the router will automatically reload and she will regain the access so this is the basic thing what she can do to avoid this issue i'll just show you and the so guys i have this access to a router okay so i'll open this super putty i have to do 10 net to that router 10.1.1.1 so this is the router let's say which uh which which is uh, pune's branch one router okay so username pallavi password cisco 123 enable password 12 cisco 123 no yes we have got the access to the device now let's say but we have to make some changes now the what best thing she can do is use this command reload okay reload she have to schedule the reload okay so there are options over here so she can reload in you can see this is the delay before reload and this will be in minutes if you use this format so let's say it is uh, 10 minutes okay now it is saying that reload schedule in 10 minutes by pallavi now proceed with reload to confirm yes, we have confirmed now if you give this command show reload now you can see here that this reload is scheduled in nine minutes because now the time is ticking see the reload is scheduled over here fine now if i want to uh, uh, let's say cancel this reload i can cancel also simple command reload cancel if i do this reload cancel i can see show reload i've cancelled the reload there is no reload scheduled okay but we want the reload to be scheduled because we are afraid that you know something while doing some a configuration we may do some misconfiguration and we may lose the access so let's say take it as five minutes confirm so it's shut down in five minutes show reload so see four minutes and 54 seconds now this time will be taking 50, 50 seconds four minutes 50 seconds four minutes 47 seconds now let's say some configuration is was going on and while doing this configuration what pallavi did was she accidentally made this mistake she accidentally made this mistake she misconfigured this thing and she lost the access now you can see here that well, we have lost the access okay the only thing what she have to do is just wait for this four four minutes some seconds you know just to regain the access so let's wait for this uh for this device to to go through that schedule meanwhile what will we can do is see there is a connection field okay so what i'll do is i'll go in this command prompt And I'll ping 10 dot 1 dot 1 dot 1. See, I'm not able to ping it. So let's wait for some time. Um, once the schedule, the reload schedule happens, it will give a boot to that device, reboot that device. The, the device will get auto rebooted and then we will regain the access. Let's see uh, how it does. 
सो लेट्स वेट फॉर सम टाइम now you can see guys uh you are we are getting the ping okay so now let's try to access this device okay username pallavi password cisco123 the most difficult password to crack cisco123 <laughs> so guys here it is like we got the access back now if you check the show reload there's no reload schedule because the reload happens so in this way uh, you can schedule the reload and you can avoid uh, the losses because in case let's say you know pallavi loses the access or she uh make some made some changes you know the atm which was connected to that branch router you know people won't be able to access that atm the atm will be out of network so maybe what can network engineer can do is uh they can uh, they can they can use this uh, reload uh command reload in command there's again one more command to schedule i'll show you reload at you can also configure some time of the day where you want to reload uh the uh uh the router because you know it happens that in many scenario you know the 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 router have to be reloaded maybe for some maintenance purpose something like that so you can also schedule the reload at some particular time uh of the day you can also do it so guys uh, i want to show you this much only in this video uh if you really like this kind of videos where i'm trying to bring some something different uh scenario based things on my channel uh please do comment on my videos uh, please give me an appropriate feedback you can write me on networkengineerstuff@gmail.com you can whatsapp me on this number and uh, we can get connected so guys i'll stop here i'll catch up with the next video till then bye thanks and have a nice day thank you